that storm was something else. So a lot has happened in the last month and I know I have not uploaded a video in about three weeks, but it's only because I've been very, very busy. So I'm not sure if I mentioned this on this channel before, but I'm doing some freelance work and it's mostly in content creation. And at the beginning of March, I brought on a new client and I've been working very, very hard for them. They're kind of rebranding their entire brand and I'm kind of helping set the foundation for that and working on content for the brand, which has taken up a lot more time than I thought it would. And it's prevented me from doing some of the things that I had planned to do in March, but I have zero regrets because I need all the money that I can make right now. I live in Toronto, which is a very expensive city. And I received a letter from my landlord saying my rent is gonna be increased in a couple of months. So yeah, I, I need the money. In spite of being busy though, I have had such a nice month. I managed to see Ray live, which was an incredible experience. I'll tell you all about it in a bit. I went to Comic-Con for the first time in my life and I thought I was a nerd before going to Comic-Con and now I think I'm just a general fan. There are people who are really, really into comic books. And I'm, I'm not one of them. I also went to a musical, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. I've been going out on several social outings. My social network is expanding. I'm meeting new people, which is really, really nice. It's so good. I can't believe I've only been here for nine months and like I know this many people and I've met such wonderful people. I feel so, so grateful. So shall we talk about Ray because she's British? I'm sorry, that was horrible, I know. The Ray concert was incredible. Like this woman can sing. Hang on. Yeah, Ray can sing. I'm so happy that I went to the show. After the last video that I uploaded, I went on TikTok and I uploaded a video asking if anybody had any spare tickets because the tickets were sold out and a lot of you recommended that I go on StubHub because there were some tickets on sale and I got myself a ticket. And I'm so glad that I went. It was one of the best shows that I've been to. And if you've been following me on Instagram and on YouTube, then you know that I've been to a lot of shows in the last year. This was like in my top three. Back to 
when we put this show on sale, you know, and, and then I, I had, I, I've always had this fear of like, will we sell out? Will we sell it? Will we sell anything? And we sold it out. So thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know the Toronto crowd was lit like this though. I got a signed vinyl of her album, My 21st Century Blues, my favorite album of the year. So yeah, that was very exciting for me. One of the highlights of going to the show was meeting Mike Sabbath, who was Ray's producer. I was standing in line outside to get into the show and he just came outside and I said, hi Mike. And he was so nice, so humble. One of the things that I realized about Mike Sabbath a couple of days before the show is that he was on the song Wave by Megan Trainor, which I think is one of the most underrated pop songs of all time. Like it was not exactly a success. It should have been, but it wasn't. And he produced that song and he was featured on it. And I put two and two together a couple of days before the show. And when I met him, I told him how big of a fan I was of all the work that he did on Ray's album, but that Wave is one of the most underrated pop songs of all time. And I think he was really touched because after I told him that he said, bring it in. And he came in for a hug. And this is why I usually go out of my way to compliment somebody I admire because especially if they're a smaller artist or if they're not seeing the fruits of their labor yet, this is usually a person who is running on their own motivation, on their own determination. So having words of encouragement and letting them know that their work is being consumed, appreciated, goes a really, really long way. And so many of you guys on this channel do this for me and I am super, super grateful for those comments, especially on days when I feel low because at the end of the day, I am human and I do run low sometimes on motivation and determination. So it always means a lot. And that's why I, I really try to give genuine compliments to people that I admire. I will not say anything that I don't believe is true, but if I really like your work, I will tell you how much I admire you and what exactly it is that I admire about you. So yeah, in case you couldn't tell, I had a blast at the Rain concert.